Jen and Sean, a couple of hours before the story hour, a small group of people opposed to the event showed up here, and in the end, there was no story hour. This cell phone video shows the handful of people who showed up to protest Drag Queen Story Hour at Somerville Library. This video shows nearly 100 people who learned of that protest on social media, then showed up in response to support the library event. Whenever hate arrives in Somerville or Medford or Boston, love and joy always comes out tenfold to kind of drown it out, and that's what happened here. Shortly before the story hour was to begin, a bomb threat forced police to evacuate the library and cancel the event. Police found no bomb. It's not clear if the threat was related to the protest, and police say it's too soon to categorize the bomb threat as a hate crime. I'd stop short of getting into that because we just don't know at this juncture. It's a concern. Um, it's concerning enough where um, it, it, it required that we bring in a number of different resources. It was a threat against a public space, so we're going to investigate it. These protesters did not formally identify themselves on scene, but online, one of the protesters claimed victory for canceling the story hour, taking credit along with her super happy fun America sisters. That group hosted a straight pride parade that led to dozens of arrests in Boston and is listed as a hate group, an anti-government group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. Hate has no place here in Somerville. When any one of us is hurt, we're all hurt, so it's it's just not acceptable. Now, we did get a statement from the Director of Operations for Super Happy Fun America. She tells News Center 5, we are relieved that today's Drag Queen Story Hour for four to eight-year-old children was canceled. It is our goal to preserve children's innocence, and we did show up to peacefully voice our objections to the event. We do, however, denounce the action of a a bomb threat being called in, especially at a children's event. We have no connection to the caller. In Somerville, I'm Mary Salida, WCVB News Center.